we are continuing our series on understanding binary in C Sharp with lesson number 10. In this video, we're gonna learn about flags in 10 minutes or less. So I've cleared most of our stuff out. I left our method for converting to binary, but let's talk about flags. Now, what are flags? Let's create a basic enum and I create a enum called system permissions. Okay, and in this enum, I'm gonna say none and SQL and web server and Redis and Azure and GitHub and build system. Now, think of this as permissions you could have in your build in, or in your software development environment, okay? So think production where you have no permissions at all. Maybe that's the person who's in marketing or something else where they have no permissions to do anything. But maybe you're the, the web developer and you have access to the web server and maybe Redis as well for caching. And maybe you have access to SQL, who knows? Um, but maybe you are all higher up in the totem pole. You have access to Azure in order to work with um, with the the actual cloud storage or the setup of setup of, Res, of Redis and SQL or you know configuring the web app that hosts your web server or whatever. Um, maybe you just are a lower level developer and you have access to GitHub and maybe the build system. Okay, but if you notice, how would I assign a permission to somebody? Where I say, okay, you know, uh, system permissions. I'm gonna say, you know. Tim's permission equals, well, I can only do one thing, right? I can, I can have access to GitHub. Well, that's it. Um, so now what you'd have to say, well, let's do some kind of array here. And then we'd say, you know, system uh, GitHub, and then we could say uh, system permissions dot build system as well. With a square bracket afterwards, I can unpin this. Um, I could possibly do something like that, but that's not going to work either because now it's just this ugly system where I have to check each item in the array and see, okay, does that match one of the things I'm looking for? That's not that's not workable. Um, also notice, by the way, I have to move this um, enum after the method. There we go. Um, that fixes that, that error there. Um, so this isn't workable, this is just ugly, but this is where we learn about flags because with flags, we can make this a whole lot better. So let's get rid of this and not have an array of permissions. And instead, what we're gonna do is over our enum, we're gonna say flags. And what this does is it indicates that the enum can be treated as a bit field, that is a set of flags. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign values to each of these. So we're gonna say equals zero. And then we're gonna say this one, well, we want it to be equal to one, right? Well, what's this? Uh, do you wanna say two? Well, not really. What we wanna say instead, you're not doing zero, one, two, three, four. What instead what we're doing is, let's start here. We're saying this one is zero, 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 zero. That's a six, seven, eight, like that. And then this one right here um, is going to be not this, it's going to be this. So this Boolean, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna copy this, we're gonna paste it down here and say, actually not this one, that one's zero. The next one is the one and this one. So we're not counting up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What we're doing is we're putting a one in a different position every time. So let's just keep going. So you have um, a record of this. So we'll paste this in and this one is going to be at this position. And then this one is going to be one position over from that, which is here like so. So there's our values we want to put in each of these. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is do our, our shifting, our bitwise shift to the left. So for web server, we're going to say one, we're going to shift it to the left. 
one spot. Notice it's a zero and then a one. This one doesn't have to shift because, um, by the way, equals. There we go. Um, this one doesn't have to shift because it's at the first position. Um, then we're going to do the, uh, the same here. We're going to shift it two. And then we're going to do the same thing here and shift it three. And we're going to do the same thing here and shift it four. And we're going to do the same thing here and shift it five. And if you look at, we got too many spaces here. Um, if you look at the, the numbers here and you start doing the counting, well, five, we five zeros. One, two, three, four, five, and then our one. Perfect. So now we have our flags set up. So now we have our permissions set up as different flags inside of a binary number. Okay, so if I were to say console right line, and I were to say convert to binary, and let's convert to binary our system permissions dot Redis. Okay, um, by the way, this is going to yell at me right now because it says, no, 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 that's um, that's a system permission, not an integer. Well, actually, behind the scenes, it is an int. So I can just uh, cast it to an int. And now if we run this, we're going to see wait for it. Um, we're going to see that it says 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Um, and if we look down here at Redis, that's exactly what we're expecting it to be. So that's how you can kind of convert a enum into a series of flags. Now, this is just step one. We've got to learn next about how to assign flags because what we want to do, remember, is say this person has multiple things they can do, okay? Not just Redis. They can do Redis and SQL. Redis, SQL, and the build system. Like, we want to have multiple permissions. And so we're going to use the knowledge we've learned so far about binary to figure out how to combine these together to say, okay, this person has these multiple rights or these multiple permissions based upon uh, what the the uh, binary value is of their permissions. Okay, so that's going to come up next. But for right now, we've learned what flags are, which is just an enum that's marked as flags. So we're indicating that it's a series of bit fields. Um, and then we can display it as a binary value. And we just want to make sure that it's not like one, zero, one. We each each value in the enum represents a different one, a, one in a different spot. Okay, that's the, the key there. All right, so next up, we're going to talk about how to assign flags or assign permissions or whatever we're using these flags for to a, uh, an individual or to a variable.